how to use Google AI Studio for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at Google AI for developers which allows us to build our own customized AI models. Now we're going to be going deep into the Google AI Studio but before we do that let's take a brief look at the pricing. So there are different pricing models available. Currently the Gemini 1.5 is free of charge and as you choose to increase the usage you pay as you go. So there are two different pricings on it. Then you also have the Gemini 1.5 Flash 8B, you have the 1.5 Pro, 1 Pro, and then text embedding as well. So all of them have free of charge models and if you're just playing around and testing it out, it is going to be free of charge. And as you scale up your usage, your rate limits are going to go up. So then it's going to be costing you as you go with Google. Now to get started, simply search for Google AI Studio. And if you are logged on to the browser, so if you're logged onto your Google account on your browser, then just click on the Google AI Studio and this will open up the Google AI Studio. And you can click on create new prompt on the left. Then on the top, you will have the name of your prompt. So this is untitled prompt right now. I am going to customize this into Lily's Essay Builder. And then once I do that, I'm going to click on save. Now, once you do that, you will see there are a few different options within this particular AI builder. On the right, you have your run settings and these are different. So in your run settings, first off, it shows you what model of the Gemini builder you're using. So you have Gemini 1.5, you also have Gamma and other builders as well. I'm going to be going with the 1.5 flash and you have your token count. So how many tokens are used for the content generation? Then you have the temperature. So temperature refers to how close are the answers that the AI model is going to give to be related to the system instructions or the instructions that you are giving. When you turn the temperature down, it means that it is going to give answers as closely related to your prompt as it can. However, as you increase the temperature, the ideas or the answers that it gives are allowed more creativity in the responses. So when you're building your own AI models, you usually want to be as close to the original prompt as possible. Below that, you have JSON mode, code execution, and function calling, which we're just going to close down. And then you also have some advanced settings. Now, over here, we even have our output length. So the number of tokens, the maximum number of tokens in a response that can be used. Now, we're going to go into our system instructions. Now, optimal tone and style instructions for the model. So I want my AI model to be really long and extensive. So give long extensive answers also add a fun fact about the uh, topic in question also add a fun fact about the topic in question now once i have provided my system instructions on the bottom i can actually run these instructions so for example if i want to ask how much is the world population so how much is the world population? Question mark. I can go on ahead and click on run over here and the model is now responding. Now the world population is this much, the number of, you know, this much, as well as here's a breakdown of the world population, just like so. Now personally, the, the number of tokens that it took were around 180 and it took 2.7 seconds to generate this. So full output blocked, edit prompt and retry. Now I am going to go on to the right over here and we are going to add our output length as 1000 like this. And then I'm going to redo this. So also add a fun fact about the topic in any given question. Make the answers five paragraphs long always yeah five paragraphs long now i am going to redo the same question that we have let's actually change up the question a little so how much is the population of 
the United States. Now I'm going to click on run over here. And once I do, you guys can see it has now provided me with a more detailed answer. Fun fact, did you know that the US population combined is the same as the entire continent of Europe? You guys can see that has provided me with a fun fact. The answer has been uh, put in five different paragraphs, but it's not as extensive. So I'm going to change. You have long, extensive answers of a certain number of words of 500 words at minimum. Also add a fun fact. Now let's ask it something else. So what is water pollute or what is air pollution? And then I'm just going to click on run over here. And you guys can see now it is providing me with a pretty detailed and extensive answer. Like this, you can train your own AI models with system instructions using the Google AI Studio. This is going to be especially helpful when you are trying to build something specific. Now, these are just really general questions. I would recommend when you're building your new prompt, you can see hurricane charting, audio, as well as unit testing. So explore a major event from a single image or snapshot. Now, if you do this, you will see that you can add your own system instructions. So I want to change this and I want to make this my weather app. And then I'll click on save, go into the system instructions, always give answers related to weather forecasts and environmental info. I misspelled environmental. I'm going to check that environmental information. Make sure to give context and explanations for weather causes so let's say i want to search for what was the most recent volcano eruption i can do that click on run over here and now the model is generating the answer currently confined to a summon poses no immediate threat so on and so forth we can build our own ai model or our own ai tool with the google ai studio now, they have a lot of other functions. You have your library where, where it shows you all of the different files you have generated. Then you even have a prompt gallery that can help you in getting started, as well as developer documentation, forms, and API keys. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video